Peace, shalom. My name is my brother E. Um, this is part two to um, the, the post that I made earlier. I want to get in real quick. I'm sorry, guys. I've been running out of data. Probably have to get a new phone and stuff like that because I do most of my recording from my phone. Um, I just wanted to go in and um, do a quick prayer. Holy Spirit, may you bless and protect me. May you continue to continue on with the message that you wanted me to give to Abbas people. I pray for Yeshua to cover me. Um, to bind and tie the enemy, so the enemy cannot speak to me or for me. In Jesus' name, Father, may you um, and um, cast out anything and um, cast down anything that's coming against this um, this message that you want me to give to your children. I pray for the host of army of angels around and about me and around and about those who are your children. I pray for peace and shalom that surpasses all understanding to cover all of us and to protect us. Father, may you guide me with the Spirit of Jesus, Yeshua, and Sheikh's name. Okay, so this is part two to what um, Abba was telling me earlier. Um, he wanted me to continue to go on with the vindication part of his children being vindicated for any persecution or anything that has to do with legal matters. Um, any legal matters um, that come to um, um, people trying to persecute you, whether it's a small... Um, a small kind of um, situation or big, it doesn't matter. Um, and I also spoke about what Abba told me about the family, when the, a family member persecutes your lives, or smears or uh, defames your name in any kind of way. Abba is saying that he will vindicate his children. Now, this vindication is gonna not, it's not going to be good for the, other, for the other side. The vindication is going to bring about a separation. Um, for those who gather against Abbas people. So the kind of separation comes from the vindication of, of, of a righteous um, vindication that brings about physical and spiritual separation from the enemy because the enemy still um, is operating in, in, in the demonic realm and, and, and doing demonic um, activities. Um, so they ran by different laws than the Abba is right, but Abba has power authority over all things, over all laws, you know, so the enemy thinks that it can hide behind the operation of the demonic realm and not be touched or harmed. But Abba, Abba is, is, is allowing things to happen so he can, so he can show his children that he's there uh, protecting and guiding them. Um, this will happen, Abba said. Um, his children will be um, vindicated. So if you're going through any legal matters or, or you're about to, do not fret. Abba knows, give it to Abba, let Abba work, and you're going to see a big change. And not only would you see a big change, you will see the downfall of those who are coming against you. Uh, Abba also wanted me to speak about um, um, a view, uh, well, people being kind of humble in a way not to, um, I mean, when it comes to preaching the gospel, the gospel is different, the Holy Spirit um, um, catches hold of you, you have to speak with authority. But when it comes to... Um, Defending the gospel and the words and um, defending when you're operating in the Holy Spirit. Um, the Holy Spirit should be able to um, show you how to uh, uh, conduct yourself so you won't have to uh, respond in a way that's beyond uh, what the Holy Spirit um, represents. Okay, so um, the Holy Spirit has a fruit that it represents and it will produce its fruit in a situation, in a matter. And when you're outside of that, uh, the realm of the Holy Spirit, you operate... Um, not from what Abba um, intended for you to operate. So it's always good to operate and ask the Holy Spirit for guidance to help you in all situations. Um, there's a lot of, um, um, because the demonic realm opened up uh, more than ever, there's, there's a lot of thickness of demonic activity. So a lot of people may feel sluggish. You may feel um, heaviness around you or around other people. Um, who haven't accepted Christ, uh, Jesus, Yeshua, HaMashiach, their Lord and Savior. So you might be picking up on other stuff from other people around you because they're not fully or they haven't accepted Jesus, Yeshua, HaMashiach, their Lord and Savior. So they, be, they, they become legal property of, uh, of what the enemy is doing. So this is all about um, a fight of legal legality, actually, um, Abba is telling me um, to tell his children um, with... The demonic realm who has legal right over those who sin and those who are separated from Abba or those who are living in the curse. The, the enemy has legal rights over that and over the person, over the situation, until the person is brought out of that um, um, by the blood of Yeshua and, and, and 
uh, willfully uh, rebukes um, living in that sin. You know, there's a will that we all have, so Abba gives us free will. We could choose to live in that sin, or we could choose to um, to, to, to rebuke it. And Abba gives us that um, personal um, 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 revelation within ourselves, whether we want to rebuke it or to live in it. So um, that's what's happening with a lot of people going on now. There's a lot of people saying, well, I, you know, I was doing fine. I was doing okay. But you see, well, it's different when you have people praying for you. And then it's different when Abba gives you a choice um, when that. When you're, when you're being given grace and given mercy, there comes a time where your probation's pulled up and what you have done or what you've been through starts to come in front of the, so to say, the judge. And um, you have to choose. You have to make a decision whether you want to keep going and to stay in Abba's world or you want to stay in Satan's world and operate the way um, um, Satan's children operate and the world operates. So we're all being called to the... Um, to the room, so to say, the, uh, the courtroom, and um, individually being um, met with choices that we all have to face and all have to make. Even though we are saved, yes, we are saved, but there, there comes a time where Abba tries to take his children to the next level. And in order for you to go to the next lo level, you have to be able to know where you're at. And to how, how are you going to know where you're at if you're presented with situations and, and, and the temptations which got you in that place, in, the, in that spot in the first place, if you're presented to see if you've grown from that, to see if you will rebuke it and not dwell in that sin. So Abba, Abba gives us a choice. Either way, um, saved or not saved, we still have a choice whether we want to move on with Abba or, or be handed over to what's in the world. Now, this may be a little harsh message. This may be something that people are not used to. But... Um, um, Abba said to to check with him, to check with him, to see if this message is is is, is truth. Um, always check with all my messages that I give for Abba, so you know that if it's from the Holy Spirit or if I'm just you know out of whack or something like that. So um, I invite you to um, um, press into the Holy Spirit, ask about Brother E and the message that's been given. Um, um, and to make sure that um, the, the, the message is correct. Because there's a lot of interference, too, in the spiritual realm. There's a lot of things going on. There's a lot of things that a lot of prophetic speakers ain't talking about that they have to face and go through just to get a message. And the reason why they keep um, trying to stay in tune with the Holy Spirit and give the message and to be used as a vessel. There's a lot of things going on that people are not talking about. Me, Brother E, I'm the type... I don't, I don't, I don't like to mention myself as a, a second or third person, but um, I, I like to um, give you, um, you know, straight in your face. This is what it is. This is what's going on. I don't have time for games, and I don't, and and frankly, I believe and I feel that your salvation is the most important thing in the universe. And anything that causes you to miss out on receiving the salvation or Anything that's going to help to better you spiritually in your salvation, anything that blocks that, stops that, is it's my enemy and it should be your enemy. Because anything that stops you from doing good, being good, and uh, uh, receiving the salvation of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, um, it's from the enemy. And it's, it's to block you from receiving eternal life. Not only receiving salvation here on earth and working on your salvation, but... What's come? What's to come to next after your soul leaves your body? Now, there's people who do not believe in the salvation. They believe that we're just born in this stand. They believe in science, but you know, um, I'm not gonna, um, I'm not gonna um, challenge or debate. I, I don't make a lot of videos um, pertaining to the, the awareness of Abba's creation and how um, it is very um, ignorant to propose a, a proposal to feel like um, everything was just made up like a big bang and everything was so organized and so sequenced to operate within us on um, creation. Everything balances each other out. Like that's in the divine intelligence that um, has orchestrated this all. I mean, just thinking about that, I mean, how everything is formulated, how everything coexists with each other and brings balance and harmony to each other. You can't get away from that. And you can't say that science created that because yeah. Um, science was the, the the theme of science wasn't around um, when creation or the so-called Big Bang happened. So 
you know, they're, they're um, um, getting back to what Abba was telling because there are people who, who, who are going to try to debate with you about um, Abba, um, God, or, or the Bible and stuff like that. Abba says, do not get into that kind of, you can preach or teach, but do not get into that kind of debate because it's, it's to lure you out. Um, that kind of debate is to lure you away from the word of God. And um, the enemy is so crafty nowadays um, because of technology. Um, it's going to feel like they're, um, 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 it's going to cause you to compromise what the word of God is truly. Okay. So um, I'm going to cut this short. I'm going to probably make another video because my data is running short. Um, I'll probably make another video later on tonight. Um, this is part two. My name is my brother. Thank you for coming to another daily post of God's ministry. Peace and shalom.